Alrighty, so here we go with a little brew. Not really a brew, but I ran into this in a league, so we're gonna fire up the best guesstimate that I can make at the deck list here on the Mana Symbol channel. So tonight we are gonna be playing in modern Ice Nine Luris. So this is a red white deck, but we are not playing any kind of combo. We are playing very, very light interaction. We are playing a Luris of the Dream Den, a mana denial deck that is focused on red and white cards. So you're going to see a lot of funky cards that you don't see a lot of in modern today. So let's go through a little bit of this deck list. So previous, um, the previous modern format, and if, I think maybe even the one before, had a possibly infamous player running around by the name of Ice Nine, who's playing a very crazy nonsensical red-white deck that I just um, nicknamed the Ice Nine Special. So the Ice Nine Special was a red-white land destruction uh, mana denial deck that featured crazy cards like Mana Tithe, which is the white uh, color-shifted version of Force Spike. Um, it had things like Crack the Earth and Boom Bust, um, so Crack the Earth is one red. Each player sacrifices a permanent. So if this is in your opening hand and you can play a one mana card out uh, early, then you will be able to, um, or uh, I'm sorry, if you'll be able to uh, have a permanent out and your opponent only has a land, you can Crack the Earth and get them to sacrifice their land. Um, then we've got Boom Bust, which is one in a red. Destroy target land you control and target land you don't control. Um, they would play Boom Bust with um, both indestructible lands, of which there are, a couple, Cascading Cataract being the more important one they played. But we play this also with Flagstones of Trocare. So this is a legendary land that taps for a white. And when it's put into a graveyard from the battlefield, you must search your library for a planes card and put it on the battlefield tapped. Then shuffle your library. We're playing these effects with uh, Leon and Arbiter. Good old Cat Jesus. So this is one in a white for a 2-2. Players can't search libraries. And each any player may to play two for that player to ignore this effect until end of turn. Play that with Ghost Quarter. Ghost Quarter uh, gives you the ability to destroy target land. Its controller may search their library for basic land card and put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle. But if you have Lean and Arbor in play and they don't have enough mana to pay for that, then it turns into Strip Mine, which is um, fun. Let's call it fun. Uh, and then we're playing a couple of things that interact with our Luris. So we've got some Soul Guide Lanterns. We've got Crack the Earth to pair... Um, with Arkham's Astrolabe, so we can sacrifice our Astrolabes to crack the Earth as a permanent we don't mind losing, and then bring it back with Luris. I didn't see them playing Seal of Fire, but I kind of like Seal of Fire in here, so we're going to try that out. Um, and then we've got some Pillages at the top end. These seem really crazy to me with the amount of red mana we have, although we do have Arkham's Astrolabe, which is the reason we're playing things like Unearth in our sideboard to get our Luris back. Um, then we've got Suppression Field in the sideboard. I have no idea if this is any good. Uh, this is one in a white for an enchantment. Activated abilities cost two more to activate unless they're mana ability. This does affect fetch lands, so that's some wacky, wacky stuff that you can do. We've got Burnton Forge Tender, which can uh, protect our Luris from red spells. Um, and we've got Soul Tide, which is one in a white enchantment, enchant non land permanent. The beginning. Uh, of the upkeep of Enchanted Permanence Controller, that player sacrifices it unless they pay X, where X is the converted mana cost. So we can use this um, after disrupting our opponent's mana to destroy any permanent that they land, unless they can pay for it. Um, these maybe should be in the main deck. I'm not entirely sure. Let's do a hot swap. I'm going to hot swap the Soul Tithes for some on Thin Ice and see if that makes more sense. It might. Seemed chunky on the on the one drops anyway here. So we're going to hop into a league. I have no idea if this is the main deck or sideboard configuration that makes any kind of sense. But we're trying it out here on the Mana Symbol channel. This is not a 5-0 deck. This is all kinds of nonsense. And we are going to throw it at the wall and see if it sticks. So thanks for, thanks for coming along on this ride, folks. It's going to be a beautiful evening. We are currently experiencing a bump in followers and viewers and all sorts of things from uh, my appearance on the Faithless Brewing podcast. So we're going to burn some tickets and see if we can't come to some conclusions about some of the cards in this list. I'm 
Let me get my notepad open. We did win the die roll here, so we're going to start off against Ches Chelios. Okie dokie. Uh, no snow land, no colored land. We do you have a soul guy lantern we can cycle here? It seems like a really good hand, but we have no snow mana for our Arkham's Astrolabe, so we're going to mulligan this one. This is reasonably-ish playable. We gotta draw something reasonable. Opponent has no companion. We have no, no way to attack their mana right now. We do have an extra card draw. All right, I'm gonna keep this one. Hope our opponent isn't on something that is exceptionally good against us and see where we end up. Again, I have no idea exactly the ins and outs of how this deck is going to function but we're going to try here now we do have three mana for our Luris right off the bat which ain't not bad so let's fire off flagstones babble and three bin inspector confuse the heck out of our opponent yes these are uh, modern legal cards we're going to bobble them on their upkeep we don't know if they are currently on some kind of discard deck so we're going to find out. What's up, Alex? We just started up here. We're playing the Ice Nine special with Luris. It's a Boros, uh, Boros land denial. Boros mana denial. Okay, it looks like we're against Ad Nauseam. Might be able to win this off the mana denial if we draw some. You saw. Cool. Oh, we ripped a Boom Bust. So that's real good here. So let's shack this Sacred Foundry. I'm gonna attack with Traven Inspector here. I'm gonna play a little Boom Bust. Uh, boom! Target that land, target that land. Oop, nope, hold on. So we wanna target our Flagstones. Target that land, target that land, red one. Boom! Flagstone triggers, yes please. And here is my Sacred Foundry. So this is where we are going to start, quote, getting our opponent. Because then this turn we can play Luris, then we'll be drawing two cards per turn, and then hopefully we're cooking with Propane. Boom bust off the top, baby. We've also gotten ourselves into a position, ourselves into a position where if we draw Pillage, um, we'll be able to pillage my opponent's um, lands because we have double red. So we're, we're kind of having everything come up Millhouse right now, which is which is good. Proof of concept is happening in front of you folks. Proof of concept. Get them. Thanks, bud. Thanks, Alex. Arr, you always know what to say. Should have hit them with the upkeep bobble. I still have to stop. It's going to be Pentad Prism. Yep. So, might, might still be okay here. Need to draw some more interaction, but, uh, yikes. All right. So we can draw a couple of cards here. Trigger, aha! Okay, Crack the Earth is gonna be fine here. Um, I'm gonna attack first and maybe sacrifice my Thraven Inspector. No, the clock is, is, is reasonable. Uh, our clock is reasonable right now, so we'll probably just sack the Astrolabe, which is fine because we can replay it um, to draw another card. In fact, let us use the Astrolabe for this Crack the Earth. This one. Hey, nerd, sack permanent. Probably sacking the Temple of Enlightenment, but setting them back any amount of mana is pretty good. Uh, and then I can't play the Astrolabe because I did the thing that way, but that's fine. I'm going to play Bobble, play Bobble, play Soul Guide Lantern, draw three. Since I'm not going to have any mana left after I play the, um, or activate the Soul Guide Lantern, we'll do that on their end step. Um, Seal of Fire is essentially a burn spell for four right now, so... 
another crack the earth is not bad they are a low permanent count deck so hopefully we don't die here because that is possible oh no oh no okay good Whew. good uh so let's do this thing draw a card Yeah, another crack the earth here ain't not bad. Uh, mace is good. Let's fetch. Just thin my deck just a little bit. Um, play Astrolabe to draw a card. That's now we're cooking with propane. So we can crack. Sorry, we can pillage their city. And then we can crack the earth again. Sacking my astrolabe again. They're in a really tough spot here because again, their, their permanent count is so low. They can win the game with three mana. Um, all they need is Spoils of the Vault and a Thassa's Oracle. I'm assuming they have at least half of that in their hand right now. So we're gonna have a bit of trouble here, but hopefully we can get through this. Drawing extra cards per turn is certainly not hurting us. Drawing that is not the best, but that's fine. Let's play this Astrolabe. Tithe. That might be savage. So let's play Seal of Fire. Let's play other Seal of Fire. We're going to sack this clue at their end step. I guess I could sack it now in case I draw another crack the earth. Yeah, let's do that. Soul tithe. Oh, well, that'll beat their Phyrexian on life, and that will get us a kill. So sweet. Unless they win right now. But they could do that off of three mana, but we have the mana tithe to beat them, which they're probably not expecting. One of the things about Mana Tithe is people get got by it, like, all the time. Lotus Bloom on Exile, sure. So this attack will put them to one, and then the Soul Tithe will trigger during their upkeep, and then we'll kill them. So we should be good here. So I'm glad I sought those Soul Tides into the main deck. So I'm gonna put them to one, Soul Tide on their unlife, put them to zero. Oh, pass the turn. I didn't play anything with Luris there, but I don't think it's gonna matter. All right, pay three. Do it. Yeah, got him. Thought that was going to be a really tough matchup, but it was surprisingly not. So Engineered Explosives can get rid of their Unlife. Don't know if that's worth doing. Seems like a pretty... This can be a really bad matchup for us. And the question is, do we want Suppression Field? So Suppression Field messes with our stuff as well. Uh, Mishra's Bobble, particularly. I definitely don't need this on Thin Ice in the main deck. And the Seal of Fires are like less than great the problem is they don't have fetch lands so i, I don't know about these it doesn't affect fast oracle it doesn't affect um yeah anything they're just all spells sorry i'm late oh no problem dude we just thoroughly demolished an opponent in game one we cracked their earth Oh, Burnton Forge Tender gives us out an out against um, against Lightning Storm. So that's probably better than Seal of Fire. Is it? I don't know that it is. Alex, help! I need to know how to be smart.
All right. Um, this is another one of the, this is one of those matchups where I was like wrestling with the deck list right before we went live, and I was like, ah, this, no, this, no, that, no, this, and uh, couldn't couldn't come to any conclusion about it. I think I definitely want the engineering. So you can bring in suppression field. Why? What are we using that against? It does not work on mana abilities. Unless they're mana abilities. That would work against Pentad Prism, except the thing that says that it literally doesn't. Deck looks fine. Yeah, alright. I need to make one cut. It's probably Seal of Fire. Because I brought in two EE and I took out the one on Thin Ice and then one Seal of Fire seems fine. Oh, Seal of um, Cleansing is something I wanted in my sideboard that I did not get. So that's... There we go. Bring in an Unearth. I think it's better than the Seal of Fire. I like Seal of Fire going fast. From the Supreme Verdict. Is that a thing? That's so not a thing, right? It's cycle. No, I know it cycles. I just... Okay, we got Flagstones, we got Astrolabe, Soul Guide Lantern, Thraven Inspector. So we don't have a way to utilize this Crack the Earth yet. I'm inclined to keep this on the fact that we have two cards that draw us extra cards. We've got Ghost Quarter, which will hopefully get us going. So this is not a great keep, but I, I'm keeping it. Somewhere out there, Roy is yelling at me. My good buddy, Roy the boy. Some people have a conscience, I have a Roy. They always have one in board. Really? I guess I never play creature decks. One bottom, one top. Okay. Red source. Oh, ghost quarter. What do I want? Thraven Inspector or Soul Guide Lantern? Probably Inspector. Doop -a -doop -a -doop. Spike got invite to the Super Qualifier. I know, I know. I, I saw. I watched a little bit of his run in the early stages when he was 2-0 uh, into 3-0. But uh, I didn't follow all the way. Blue. Another Serum Visions? If so, sick. No. Yes? No? Is it tr oh pen that person went there? I was like, why are they tapping blue and red off the city of brass? Okie dokie. So we got there in terms of that, and we'll crack the flagstones into a snow base. No, I need another sacred foundry. That's fine. So do this. Attack with this. So if I'm going to crack my flagstones anyway, let's play the Soul Guide Lantern and exile their thing. Okay. Crack the earth. Just crack it, baby. Crack. Crack lacking, baby. Battlefield tapped, yes. Alex, why aren't there snow duels? But seriously, why aren't there snow duels? There should have been an uncommon cycle of coming to play tapped snow duels with, with basic land types. That definitely should have happened. Completely, totally, definitely. I was going to say, if they miss their land drop here, it's going to be... To get rid of reserved list. I I was like, I remember when people were saying they were gonna do that in Modern Horizons, I was like, okay, you're you're completely insane, but okay. <laughs> I will humor your insanity for no good reason. We got the soul tithe again. Sick. Who needs good cards when you've got soul tithe? It's the soul mass transit system. Beep. Beep, beep, here's my Thraven Inspector. Work, work, got a little bit of show now. Work, work. Well, 
Well, I was saying come into play tapped snow uh, duels. So this would be like corset level. Ooh, another gemstone mine. That's Thoughtsies. Sure. Take my soul tithe. That's fine. Yeah. I've got another. Nice. Boom bust. That'll do deck. That'll do. So if I boom bust targeting my ghost quarter and then I sack the other ghost quarter to kill it, I can get a snow basic. Yeah. So I'm going to do that. So this is a weird play here. So uh, play boom. Target this ghost quarter. Target that gemstone mine. And then sacrifice ghost quarter. Destroy target land. Okay. Yes. Get myself a snow planes. Let the boom resolve. Boom. Bang, bang. And then we can draw a card with Astrolabe. And we can draw a card with Soul Guide Lantern on their end step. I mean, I could draw it now. That's another boom bust. I'll take it. I'll take it. Ah, modern. What a silly format. Tis, tis a silly format. There's a whole lot of nonsense happening in this one. I'm gonna kill my opponent with the Thraven Inspector. Look how disappointed they are. Nah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Head eye prism? Uh oh. Panicking! Panicking! Okay, this kind of sucks because they have this Pantad prism that. Well, that's just. That's just exceptional, isn't it? Thank you, deck. Thank you. Oh, do I want to put it on the Phyrexian on life? Or do I... Let's put it on the Pentad Prism. Do I want to crack the earth first? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Just getting all sorts of ahead of myself. So I'm going to sack my Astrolabe. Because I want it in the graveyard. And then we're going to Soul Tide their Pentad Prism so they don't have any mana um, left other than in their upkeep. They're just going to sacrifice that Pentad Prism. And then the thing is, Luris can bring back my Soul Tide later. Um, so we're going to play Luris next turn and then start recurring the Soul Tide to put them on zero permanence. Somewhere uh, in, the, in the dead of space, I can hear Chris Flink crawl, crying out and uh, becoming silenced. I'm sorry, Chris. I'm so sorry. They kept the Pentad, but I guess to insulate themselves from another crack the earth, which makes it makes some some amount of sense. Okay, so we have that for when we hit um, another land for for Boom Bust. And play Luris, beat them up. Uh, I should have left the the Snow Mana untapped so I could play the um, Astrolabe. So now I have to play the uh, Soul Guide Lantern. So that's a little, little bit of punt, but not a big deal. Just exile one of their cards, pass the turn. Okay, and now the Pender Prism dies, and now we have a Soul Tithe. In fact, we have second Soul Tithe in our graveyard, but... This deck is a little bit mana hungry, but we haven't had problems so far with so many cantrips. <laughs> Save as proof of concept. All right, moving on.
So two owed ad nauseum. Interesting. All right, here's my kid cat. Ah, uh, sure. Yeah, this has some of our cards that we want to play. And we're on the play. Good, 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 good. So we're going to play Bobble, Mesa, and Sit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's that's exactly what we're doing. We should have actually a really good game against the other Luris decks because we have things like main deck Soul Guide Lanterns, and can really mess up their mana. Blood Crypt. Okay. Yeah, because we can even beat a Thoughtseize here. Crazy. Wonder how many fetches they have in their hand. Oh, this deck makes me ask really stupid questions. Stupid, wonderful questions. Okay, they had one. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Dee 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 dee. Ding 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 ding. Baby dee 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 dee. Baby dee 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 dee. Baby dee 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 dee. This is when your opponent gets to know on turn one they're getting memed on. <laughs> this is Saffron Olive's alt account right now. I have insufficient blood moons in my deck list, but. Double cat Jesus. Oh, that is potentially fatal. Goodness gracious. Okay, what did they. Yeah, this is the blood crypt. Okay, so they're probably playing the crypt this turn. I have nothing to say about the rest of your turn, friend. Are you ready to be strip mined, friend? Are you ready? Bone Crusher's ready! Although he's not in this deck list. But he could be. Uh, yeah, draw an extra card. Wow. We uh, drew all the strip mines, huh? Well, no time like the present. Here's my second Arbiter. Oh, I should have attacked for two first. Should I? I guess it's not going to matter. So I can definitely strip mine them here because if they respond by spending mana to kill one of my creatures, then... Oh, I should have played that bobble. Oops. Wasn't expecting to have infinite bobbles in this draw. Now, we do need one more uh, white or red mana to get sort of going, but uh, this is going pretty well so far. And for some reason, they shocked their Blood Crypt. Not entirely sure what that was about if they didn't plan on spending any mana. Okie dokie. To be fair, that's the gimme game. That's the game where you kind of get away with murder because um, your opponent doesn't know what you're doing. Um, so they are playing fetch lands, but I think this is fine. I haven't seen how many burn spells they're on, so I don't know if I want Burnton Forge Tender because I don't know what their removal suite is looking like. We're already boarding in six cards. They want it to have two up for when you GQ. Yeah, I guess so, but like... Yeah, wow.
I was assuming they'd have some variety of removal. Um, because if they had a Ren 6 in their hand, they probably would have played it, right? So Seal of Fire is great. Soul Guide Lantern's good. Um, Soul Tide is probably fine. What the hell am I supposed to cut here? I don't know. What do we do? Probably Pillage, because I think... Pillage and Boom Bust? Is that... Is this going to work? I don't know. Maybe because we got them with the Mana Tide, we're supposed to board out Mana Tide. Leave in the Boom Bust and one of the Pillages. So this affects Renin 6, it affects... So if I'm boarding in Suppression Field, I should probably board out some number of, like, Mishra's Bobbles and such. Because I assume that my deck works better without these than theirs does. Yeah, let's, let's see how game two goes set up like this. So we're lower on land destruction, we still got Soul Tide, we still got Boom Bust... We don't have mana tithe, but that's fine. We've got more copies of On Thin Ice. We're up to three of those. Because exiling their creatures, especially their larger creatures, is pretty good. We can rebuy it with Luris when we get there. Unearthed is definitely important against like the super heavy amounts of removal. Yeah, that's a good one. We can go land bobble crack the earth on turn one. So let's see how she goes. Mountain, sure. That's not gonna thought seize me. Soul Scar Mage. Okay. So on thin ice that bad boy? I think. Yeah, I think so. If I crack the earth, what are the chances they sack the land? Zero, right? But I think we'll leave the bobble in play for if I want to crack the earth next turn. Beep. See ya. That's mine now. Babel, sure. Oof. All right. Took the other on the nice. Makes sense. So I think I'm playing the Arbiter this turn, which means I'm not cracking the Earth this turn, which means I'll just fire off that. They have a lightning bolt on top, so they can definitely kill my Arbiter. However, um, that doesn't mean we're not playing the Arbiter. Play Misha's Bobble. I want some core Firewalkers for the sideboard of this deck. 
Oh, we have the Forge Tenders. Because their deck is a lot more burn-based than I thought based on last game. So they're on Jund. Uh, they're probably on the Suicide Jund deck. Which is just a little unfortunate with the, the draw they had in game one made me think that they were on the, um, the Jund Luris deck. But they... They made a, a good choice to concede where they did there. One of the cards in their hand right now is Lightning Bolt, which is largely not super useful. That is fantastic, though. So, yeah. Ouch. Definitely want the burnt and forge tenders in the next game. Brutality. Wow. Okay, so playing my crack the earth. Says says you. Okay. Uh that's an okay draw. So play the babble. Not not the bobble, the astrolabe. Uh, now I can't play Crack and Boom Bust. That's fine. Uh, do I want the Astrolabe right now? Probably. Because next turn I could play Luris Astrolabe. Not that I really want to, but... Let's hit him with the Crack. One of the EDH players casts Null Rod. They are on a Joyra artifact deck with three artifact lands. Well, that seems like a bad choice, Alex. Why? <laughs> Why would they do that? That's nonsense. It's utter, utter nonsense, and I, I don't approve of it. I think, I think it's a terrible idea, and I wouldn't do it if I were him. Okay, so we are going to get to play Luris here and Thin Ice. Their Swiss Spear. They do still have the Lightning Bolt in their hand, so they'll be able to, ouch, be able to fire that off afterwards. But then we're going to be in a pretty good spot. So I will take it. Lurrus. Then I s there, this one. Go. Cool. Boop. Work. Work, get a little bit of soul now. Work, work. Do you love me? Do you love me? So they are a land light deck, so we might get to pillage their black source here, and then they are in a bubble of trouble. Oh, that ghost quarter might also be. Shoot, I needed the extra red there. Well, am idiot. Uh. Let's see if we can see if they have a basic swamp in their deck. I'm going to assume they do. They do. Good for them. Warped. Gonna rift them and the Damia player, though. I, okay. Oh, Cyclonic Rift, of course. So if we had Pillage there and then Ghost Quartered this next turn, we would be considerably better off here because they're going to cast their Luris and a bobble, which is going to suck for me. We could hopefully draw a removal spell for the Luris, but for the moment we are in a shambles. You gotta love that instant punish. Good card. Off the top. That's a good one. I don't have a bobble in play. Crap. <laughs> okay, that's not a good one. But it looked good. For a half a second there, that was beautiful. 
Okay, so Thraven Inspector. They have a Seal of Fire, so I'm going to be going at... Yeah, this is, this is about to be really bad. So we're at effectively two. So, yeah. Punted this one hard. That's okay. We'll get him on the play in game three. Babel. Okay, so probably not dead if they're not going for the seal of fire line. Oh, dismember? Okay. Dat member. So if Soul Tithe gets us out of here, not much else does. Uh, okay, we're still going to two. Okay, they drew another bolt. Okay, can't beat that. What were our draws going to look like if we had played that tighter? Oof. Man, that would have been so good. All right. Play it tighter. Got it, got it. Uh, pillage was not great. Burn to forge tender, definitely necessary. Um, Soul Guide Lantern is good. Mishus Bobble, fine. Uh, let's take out one table. One bobbly bobbly. And then one you know, engineer explosives, something like that. Seems reasonable. All right. So note to self, be careful with crack beer. Because you are playing your unearths. Oh, we were supposed to have a godless shrine in this deck. Yeah. Okay. I spitballed ideas with people about what this deck should be playing and then totally forgot them, so. Warp shit. Did y'all know this was a wizard? It's a wizard. You're a wizard, Kifkin. Opponent is going for the full three minutes. All right. Whoa, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll keep that one. Jeez, Louise. This is, uh, I sure hope they have this card. They are about to get hammered. Oh, 
Rob Alexander. Swoon. Look at that thing. Oh, just gorgeous. Gorgeous. Wow. They don't do land arc like they used to. Now they tend to make it good. No, I'm kidding. Uh, so I think we're playing Burnton Forge Tender on one. Especially, so they're playing haste creatures. So we definitely want to have that down ASAP. Okay, there we go. Here's my tender. Sweet chicken tender. Aha, they've fallen into my trap already. <laughs> oh no. Don't thought seize me. No. Oh. Uh... All right, we're gonna be great. It's all gonna be fine, probably, maybe not. Okay. I mean, that's kind of something. Okay. Attack for one, boop. Trigger. Lantern, Exile, Fonzies. Okay, go. Look how many permanents I have. Look how many! Thought sees me again, fool. Do it. I dare you. I dare you. Dismember. Sure. I mean, here comes the Death Shadow? Oh lord. No, it's a soul scar mage. Hilarious. Okay. So play ghost quarter. We can crack a clue on the soul guide lantern this turn. Yeah, seems fine. Not really afraid of soul scar mage when I'm at uh, such a reasonable chunk of health. And then next turn we can go Lurus Burnt and Forge Tender. Yeah. Okay. Ah, I see why you were afraid of the boom bust. Let me tell you something, friend. Bust it makes me feel good. Uh, I'll take your one. You're not likely to pump this here. Cool. Draw. Yeah. Yeah, all right, fine. Also draw. Oh, yeah. Yes, please. Thank you. Oh, that's, that's not nice. Okay, uh, I think we're going to boom. Yeah, boom this turn, so... Uh, flagstones and the crypt. Boom. Shotgun. Headshot. Oh, where's my thing? DCSB. Finish him. It's probably a little loud. Apologies. They're bolting my Thraven Inspector. Adorable. You, you got it, friend. Boy, did you kill my Thraven Inspector. Got him. Got him. All right, let's get a Sacred Foundry. Tap head. Um, play second Flagstones. Let's throw down my Arbiter. And then next turn, we play Lurus plus Forge Tender. Uh, we are definitely not blocking here because this Arbiter currently turns my Ghost Quarter into a Strip Mine, which is really good. I gotta add 
this to my soundboard. Quake three, eh? Humiliation. That's the one I want. Yeah, it's the one. Yeah, it's one hundred and ten percent the one I want. Oh, I gotta have it. Oh, I gotta have it. Bobble. Sure. Wow, that is so freaking like why would you why would you do it this way? Like that's just ugh, it's just not not okay. So we're gonna take six, which really is not too bad at all. And then we play Luris Forge Tender. Or Luris Arbiter, no, because if we play Luris Ar Arbiter, we can't um, kill their land, so we'll, we'll play Luris Forge Tender here. Because uh, they didn't hit another land, so they don't. Um, wow. Yeah, so Luris Forge Tender will be fine. Play my Luris. Play my Forge Tender. Play Foundry. They did find another land. Got him. Two O, oh, baby. Boosh. Can't believe we got through those. Damn it. Cool. Cut. D. Uh, streaming sound effects. All right. Yeah, this is a weirdly reasonable metagame deck. Or maybe we've just been really lucky. Let's find out. Okay. Humiliation. Oh, that's way too loud. Hold on. Sorry, folks. Stay a while and listen. Edit. Let's take it down to half. Humiliation. Okay. Much better. Okay, opponent is on a landy deck, so um, I'm gonna lead on Arid Mesa. I'm pretty sure, and then next turn we turn we can go Flagstone's Boom Bust. So let's see. So we want this for uh, mana tie. Uh, Tron is tr like classic Tron, green Tron, good Tron, whatever I usually call it. They uh, they should have a reasonable shot here. So stay a while and listen. Okay, so this could be a little bit louder. So something like that. Let's see this. Humiliation. There we go. Okay. What is this? Chalice, Chalets, Ballista. Oh. Actually, I'm going to let that resolve. I don't really mind that I can seal a fire it next turn. Yeah, that's fine. No, Blitz is fine. I can deal with you later, friend. So, Flagstone, Boom Bust, their temple. My friend. Boom, shakalaka laka. -laka. 
Oh yeah, we gotta get all the NBA Jam sound effects. Hell yeah. Manatide, what's up Ice Blade? Yeah, we're playing Manatide in Modern, and we're 2-0 with it. We're, uh, we're kind of crushing it? I don't, I don't know what's going on, but it's kind of working. Hey, Yay! It's all good, Mare Bear. All levels of excitement. Mare Bear, are you aware that a mare and a bear are both different animals? I bet you are. Yeah, we just beat Jundlurus, which was kind of neat. So hopefully they were planning on hitting us with the Thought Knots here this turn, and we have diffused that plan. If they have Natty Tron next turn, it's going to suck, but, you know, can't beat them all. So I think we're just going to Astrolabe and Seal of Fire and leave up Mana Tithe. Ooh, another Boom Bust. Yeah, I'm in for that. Boom, shaka laka laka uh, we've seen none of these things. Which of these looks uglier? The mine. The mine. And they called it a mine. <laughs> Just imagine a bear with a mare's mane. Ooh. What a well-kept bear. Kempt. Well-kempt. Unkempt. Whatever. Whatever. You all know what I mean. Okay, nothing to play with my Lurus yet. Oh no, I have a Soul Guide Hunter. <laughs> Naked Gemstone Caverns. Hopefully they don't have a Chalice of the Void. That would be unfortunate. Don't Chalice me, friend. Pillage! Wow, this just keeps getting better and better, huh? Jeez. Just, you know, step one, rip hot fire. Step two, question mark. Step three, 5-0. That's, that's the plan. That is the scheme as we've cooked it up. It's a bitch to play. Now add hooves on the back legs. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's getting a little Greek up in here. Second mine, sure. A mare bear runs full tilt on hind legs when threatened. Got it. And its cry is a combination of a whinny and a roar. It's really terrifying. We got another boom bust? Oh my god. This is just getting disgusting. I like to pay two life. No. Uh, I'm actually going to boom this Sacred Foundry, the new one, because the popular kids aren't into him. But more importantly, because um, I, I, I still want a snow covered plains in case I have a reason to sack my astrolabe. So, do I want to play the Seal of Fire yet? No, I really want to mana tie a, um, a Chalice for one, if they have land Chalice for one here. So, Walking Ballista is not killing us anytime soon with no mana. Can you finally stop drawing lands, friend? I've killed four. Four. I've killed four. It's a lot. It's a lot of lands I've killed. Land Massacre. Jeez. C can you just chill? Chalice on one? Oh, we nailed it. Didn't get got. Get out of here. Now they're going to Simeon Spirit Guide? No, okay. <laughs> I was ready to get counter got. Did opponent forget Tron is not great? Well, this is E-Tron, to be fair. E-Tron, I think, is slightly better. The, the Chalice is... I think Chalice is probably pretty good against a chunk of the Lurist. Good God. My deck, can you stop? This is insanity. This is not okay. We shouldn't be doing this. I'm killing the gemstone caverns, right? No, I, I play Arbiter. I want to kill this ghost quarter. Bye, friend. We drew triple boom bust, double pillage. Wow. -y. Cripple fat. <laughs> Oh my god, they drew their wastes. Like, 10 out of 10, they have um, Thought Knots here in their hand, which is obviously not going to matter anytime soon, but... Crack the earth. Nice. Okay, so... Seal of Fire. Shoot the Ballista. We'll take one and we'll crack the earth and sack my Astrolabe. And then we'll Soul Guide Lantern them. Eat their Chalice. 
And I'll take one. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna play my favorite metal soon song. Crack the earth. Uh, Chalice, get out of here. I guess I should have ate the Ballista, but Chalice is more offensive. <laughs> Alright, I'm on zero cards in hand. Now you know I'm ripping the land destruction off the top, friend. I think I'm not going to play Naked Luris if I'm given the chance here. Okay, I will play Luris with Arkham's Astrolabe as backup. That's fine. So if they immediately have the Dismember, I mean, we'll, we'll take the hit. Oops. Luris. Meow. Now, now, kitten. Get them. Kill. Soul Tithe. That'll do. It's the soul. Mass transit system. Ooh, nice power plant. Oh no. Spirit guide into exile. Three mana. Matter shaper. Ooh, nicely done. You got a permanent to play. Okay. Oh my god. That's just not fair. Boosh. Uh, and I have a seal of fire I can play. Yep. They conceded. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. We did draw, like, all of our early land destruction in the top 20 cards of my deck. That was... That was gross. Okay. Um, on thin ice seems good. Seal of Fire seems less than great. I know it was like okay there, but it's probably not normally that good. Engineered Explosives is an interesting one. I have colorless sources, so I can get it on zero. I can get it on one by paying two. So I think I want that for sure. So uh, Soul Guide Lanterns are not useful here. And I think I think that's probably it. There's a good chance we're just going to get hammered on the draw. Um, I, don't, I don't know if I want these unearths, but I think I kind of want like all of my land destruction effects. So let's roll like this and see how it goes. I might want unearth instead of some of these Thraven inspectors. If I had the choice to do it again, I'd probably make the swap there. Okie dokie. I don't know why you had that pre-highlighted game. You never do that to me. You don't do nice things for me. Um, yeah, this is fine. It's not good, but it's... I don't think I'm going to throw it back. Not going to throw this one out of bed, I'll tell you that much. Nice. No turn one play. Love it. Flagstones. Uh, yeah... No, we'll lead on the... I have an Arbiter in my hand that I want to play on turn two, so let's get our fetch land out, please. Uh, opponent upkeep. No, they can't Thought Not Zero me. Let's let's just draw now and not, not be obnoxious. Top card is Smasher. Ooh, Doctor. Word Doctor. They've got one heck of a... Oof. 22 land deck is drawn. Yeah, I think... Probably need to beat that one. The funny thing is the soul tithe is textless if I don't play this, so I kind of have to. Okay, um this guy. I hope you have an expedition map in your hand. Blast zone. Good card. Sure. Okay. 
I think I'm going to kill one of their Tron lands here. Rather than going after the Blast Zone. The Blast Zone is not really all that threatening until they can do more with it. Uh, we're going to kill the Power Plant. Um, Roy the Boy, for anyone who has not met my wonderful friend who usually hangs out here, is much smarter at Magic the Gathering than me and explained to me once. So the reason that you want to kill... Um, so assuming that you've seen the same number of the Tron lands that you have seen, so your option is to kill one of the Tron lands that's in play. Um, you want to leave the tower in play most of the time. And the reason why... Is this another chalice? Uh, the reason why you want to kill everything but the tower is because when they're spending mana on spells that search for the tower... Uh, sorry, that search for the other Tron pieces, you want the tower tapped for when they finally get there. So Chalice on one is actually not that bad here because I'm about to play Luris and I have a Mishra's Bobble in my graveyard. So they probably should have just put that on zero, but whatever. And they missed their land drop, which is A+, plus because we know they have a Reality Smasher in their hand. So let's play my Luris. Mm, Luris, Luris. Mm. Bobble. And uh, let's go ahead and crack in for two here. You know, no biggie, no problem. Boop. Bonk. So I know they have both of the. Uh oh, oh. They have Ballista in their hand? I guess they do. And next up is. Or is this mine? Well, crap. Three doesn't really get them anywhere yet, so we're fine for now. And Boom Bust will keep us that way. Good. 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 Yes, you may attack with your Smasher. So, to get the full value out of my Boom Bust here, we're going to need... They didn't play anything? What? Oh, I guess they want to crank their Blast Zone. That's really greedy. But okay. And they've already lost a Power Plant. Uh guess we can kill the mine yeah we're gonna kill the mine for sure uh okay so depending on what we draw here another boom bust i think we're just gonna take the loss of the flagstones here and just boom bust twice here so boom target snow covered plains and urza's mine one two boom shakalaka laka and i can't pay to search with my flagstones but i have more snow covered lands in play so we're gonna uh oh oh they're gonna crank in response yeah they're cranking in response that's fine we're just gonna kill the blast zone right afterwards anyway boom shakalaka laka boom shakalaka laka laka Cast my babble and bobble you. and he has the turn. <laughs> Eldrazi Temple on top. Jeez, Louise, that's okay. I guess. <laughs> Whew. It's getting hot in here. It's getting hot. I mean, at least I got rid of the. Oof, that's a draw. You can play your ballista if you want to. For x equals 1. Okay. Interesting choice again. Then ice. Gets countered by chalice, so not useful. Mesa. Ugin on top, that's fine. Mm, okay. Mm, I'm going to respond to this. So pay two for my Arbiter, search with my Arid Mesa. Don't have a lot of instants in my deck, but there are a few. So let's thin the deck and draw 
Hopefully one less land. That's a great draw. I can kill the Chalice with that if I want. And then Thin Ice their Mana Reshaper. Yeah, that's probably where we're at now. Um, really? They conceded. They went to attack and then they conceded. Holy crap. 3-0. Oof. Just tearing along here tonight. I'm going to fill up my water while the search is going and then hopefully hit it when I get back. Still haven't hit, huh? All right, works for me. Let's check out these NBA Jam sound effects, huh? Let's see what these are. I can always cut them up. I bet we can get a better. NBA Jam soundboard. Sleeping or jumping seven, seven, seven. Uh, we lost the die roll. Uh, can I keep this hand? Yeah, probably. Turn two, crack the earth with flagstones. Oh, I could turn one, crack the earth with bauble too? Yeah, okay. Well, oh, I can seal the fire of that. Okay. Okay. Boom shakalaka! Nice, cool. Exactly what we're looking for. Oh, next turn we can crack the earth and get uh, snow basic. Okay, so let's play Babel. Let's play. Yeah, shock the foundry. Seal of fire. Kill the soul star mage. Doot. Bye, friend. Zug zug. What me do? Ah. I think we may have run into someone who's immune to our nonsense. Let us see. Okay, so flagstones, one mana, red, crack the earth, probably second their seal of fire. Flagstones. Yep. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Yes. However, we do get to eat it with my Soul Guide Lantern, so that ain't not bad. Soul Guide Lantern. <laughs> Delicious. All right. And Babel. And pass the turn. I wonder if we're against the black red Luris deck. I bet we. Ooh, no, we're against Boros Luris. Okay, maybe it's Prowess or Burn. So, might be in an okay spot here. We shall see. Oh, yeah, that's super. Oh, I was supposed to get a Snowland. Boy, I hope I draw one. So, yeah, that was pretty lucky. All right, cool. Float one, 
play red, crack the earth. So I'll get that one. This gives me a tapped snow land, but I'll take it. Yes. That one. Play Raven Inspector. Doopy doopy doop. Doopy doopy doop. Beep beep. Doop and open now. Wow. Sorry, opponent. Forgot I had that there. Babble, sure. Bobble with no play. Works for me. Whoa, no. Ah, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Wow. All right. This is what happens when we don't pay attention. All right. Back to paying attention. Pillage. Paying attention to the fact that I'm casting Pillage. Boosh. Get out of here. Punt, 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 punt. Lavadart. <gasps> you jerk. Although I guess I just traded Thraven Inspector for Lavadart. So... Cool. Pass the turn. You now cannot play your Luris. Good luck. I mean, they couldn't before. Oh, wow, they can't. Okay, we're really far ahead. Wow, this low-resource game is fantastic for my deck. John, to eat your heart out. What, Doctor? That's one heck of a draw. Okay, I like it. I love it. I would like some more of it. Land, please. Thin ice. That'll work. Yeah, they can't. They can't get to their Luris this turn. So let's just play another, another three minute inspector. More than happy to block and trade for their monastery sphere here. Seal. Sure. He's on fire from downtown. Am I blocking? Yeah, I'm taking a hit. They've got two cards in hand. I think I'm gonna go okay. I think I'm gonna be okay. And land. That's almost a land. It's like a land. It's land adjacent. Land like. Land light. Play a lightning bolt. I, 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 I dare you. Double dog dare you. Does your deck have actual smokestack in it? Is that modern legal? <laughs> it's not, I checked. <laughs> oh. Fun people are fun. Uh yeah, let's just let's just ice the the so sphere. A do 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 Another Swiss beer. Well, I guess, yeah, I guess I asked for that. Bolt me. 
Manatai. Nope. Denied. Oh, baby, boom bust. I don't even want to cast it. Why don't I want to cast it? All right, let's draw a card proactively. I'd really like another land. Flagstones would be great. So they went for their extra card draw. Not sure exactly why they're feeling the pressure now in particular, but that's fine by me. Advantage here. Okay. We're going to block here. Seeker of the Away Game. Yeah, that's a good one. Jeez Louise. Okay, deck. I would really like to hit a land soon. Really like to hit a land soon. Top card of my deck is Sacred Foundry. Cool. Is it? Not really, but whatever. So I'll draw it. Am I shocking that so that I can play my Arbiter? Yeah, I think I am. And here comes the Cat Jesus. They draw another white source here. That is going to be unfortunate. Ghost Quarter, also a little unfortunate. Although I get to play Cat plus Seal of Fire next turn. So. Okay, we're going to block this time. We only take one extra damage by blocking the Swift Spear instead of the Seeker, which I think will be fine. And we had the chance of um, causing a little little bump. So we're going to go to five here, which is not great. But then we're going to play a lifelinker. They have zero cards. Ah, they have their Luris. Crap. Oh, my God. The timing on their draw there was insane. Okay, so... Uh, Luris, Seal of Fire, and we leave one mana up. They're going to have two cards in hand. We're going to get to kill their Luris. Crud. I'll be back in a bit. Oh, no problem. No problem. They're on too many lands now. Oh, well. Good luck, Godspeed, little kitten. Play my Luris. Play my Seal of Fire. Unless they're last cards, unless they get two really nutty draws here, we're going to be okay, but probably not. We do have Forge Tenders in game two. Yeah, let's just game. Shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. All right. They had it all there, and I tapped down off the Mana Tithe on the turn. They played the Luris. Unearth, Forge Tenders on Thin Ice. Take out probably the Pillages. Those seem unnecessary. Okay. 
Let's see the mana. We could take out the mana tides, I think. Pillage. Bring those back in. Yeah. Okay. And then. Is there anything else in the main deck that I don't want? No, we good. If I hadn't screwed up with my Soul Guy Lantern. Okay. So down a game against Burn, but not out. Forge Tender on Earth, Thraven Inspector on Thin Ice. Yeah, yeah, we'll keep this one. We don't have black mana here, but should be pretty good with Forge Tender in the opener. Probably play three of an inspector on one. And maybe clue crack on two. That's probably fine. Yep, perfect. That's just what I wanted to see. God bless it. I uh, you know, you, you, you think that you're smart sometimes, and you are you never are. You never are. There's always, there's always a bigger fish. Forge Tender. I'm going to leave my Thraven Inspector back. No, let's jab them. I do eventually need to win this game, and they have another haste creature. That's just going to be the way of it. Holding the bobble in play for the... Whoa! Whoa. Path your forge tender. Do I let this go because I want to pillage? I think I'm going to. So... I can save it and prevent all the damage a swift sphere will deal to me. I kind of want this land though. I have two more Forge Tenders. I'm feeling good about this game, so let's take the risky. I can't get a red source with that. God, I'm an idiot sometimes. It's fine. It's fine. We're going to be fine. We're going to be great and fine. Fine and great. Great and fine. It's all good. God bless it. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. And they're bolting me. Okay. 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 Sometimes you gotta play a new deck and admit you can be an idiot. Or you can just be lucky. Just be lucky. Always just be more lucky. Okay, so we are three lightning bolts from death. However, we're doing great otherwise. I'm actually hoping they find a way to kill my Thraven Inspector, because I would like... No, we have... Well, I'd like something to bring back with my Luris. Sure. Please attack. Please kill my creature. He shocked the Sacred Bender. You must have something. Yep. Okay. Bonus X.
So play my Laris, play my three minute inspector, and another clue. That's the turn. Abbott. Sure. That's a card. Bobble. Good draw. Good flip. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Oh, no, but they can't attack because then I just get another clue. Neat. That'll do, deck. That'll do. Please attack. Yeah, buddy. I, I, I will block, sir. Thank you. Do you want to GQ them off their white? Yeah, I do. Do you have a basic planes in your deck? This is the question, opponent. Do you have the planes? They do not. Bobble is something. Problem is, I can attack with Luris, trade with the Abbot, gain three life, and I can't play this on Earth yet. Let's bobble myself. See what I'm going to draw. What are we going to draw? Snow covered planes. Well, that's not great. So, three of an inspector, and I can draw two cards here. I played Ghost Quarter this turn. So, that doesn't get me anywhere. I almost want to attack with Luris because it's like guaranteed gain three, and if they don't block, it's kind of great for me. Um, that's crazy, right? I don't know. You want to get nuts, opponent? Let's get nuts. Because I don't want to die to their burn spell, and I have a Luris in reserve. They can't get to their Luris next turn. And as soon as they draw a burn spell, they get to take mine out. They got two shots at one here, so... We're definitely attacking while it's less likely that they have an out. So they're likely to crack bobble here. Yep. Each draw a card. Yeah. I'm gonna get to draw two more on this turn. Oof. Okay. Yep. Going to seven here. Possibly less. Nope. That's a good one. Okay, I'd like to draw an astrolabe. That's real good. I will take that. Also fine. Also excellent. Thank you, deck. Thank you, deck. You started listening, and I like it. You get the hell out of here. Um, boom. Target this one and that one. Red, white, boosh. From downtown. All right. Doing okay here. We're okay. We're coasting. Oh my god, that's an insane draw. Pyrite freaking spell bomb. Yeah. Yeah. Although they don't really. Interesting. Okay. I don't know what that means, but I'm okay with it. <sighs> okay. So I, do I have to cycle this on Earth? I've drawn so many cards. I have drawn so many cards. I don't know what to say. 
I could flagstones and ghost quarter my flagstones for what effect? No effect, essentially. Yeah. Okay. Um, play the tap land, pass the turn, I guess. Right, they couldn't kill my forge tender with that because it costs mana to do so. So I can kill it, I can counter the Sisters damage for the turn, and then got like one more turn. This deck is nonsense. Well, thank you. It's 3-0 nonsense. Now, we are down a game here against Burn, but um, I think I actually could have... Well, game one was st silly. We got stuck on three lands forever, and we hadn't um, boom-busted ourselves or anything like that. Um, that's a boom bust. Oh, uh, boom. This thing and that thing. Boom, shaka laka laka laka. Oops, I need to spend a red. Boom, shaka laka laka laka. I mean, I like it, but it's still nonsense. Oh, it's definitely nonsense. All right, we got to cycle this on Earth, which is super unfortunate. We only have two, but I don't. Feel like well maybe I can take one more draw step without without doing anything but I mm, I think it feels wrong to pass the turn here but we're gonna do it so they're never getting to their Luris which is great so spear and a dream God bless it okay okay of course wait we're in combat right now no i don't want to give them more mana in combat take the one okay wow we have two pro red things in the bin that prevent damage from red sources seal of fire lavat are goodness gracious so i can't ghost quarter them off their mana right now because then they get free lavat art Okay, that'll do, sort of. Soul Tithe. So kill the Vantage, it turns into a mountain now. I would have un used Unearth proactively then to bring those back. I can't cast it right now, Punchworthy. Larynx Punchworthy, I can't cast it right now. I'm cycling it, finally. I'm finally sick of looking at its face, and I'm cycling it. So I screwed up when I was building the deck, and um, I didn't put a Godless Shrine in it. So that's a fairly large oversight. But to be fair, we've been pretty unlucky to not hit a. Uh, I'm done. Time me out. No, 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 no. That that's that that was a that was like a completely reasonable thing to say because we should have it. So we're gonna go to two here. I think. If they want to sack their mountain. Yeah. So they're gonna pay to keep their swift spear, that's fine. Sorry, they can they can swing for three on a turn when they want to. They do lose the seal of fire. So we might die next turn. Shoot. Spirit link in the deck. I wish. Is it? Did I just reveal a bobble on top of my deck? I think I did. I did. Great. So I'm dead? No, I get two draws. I get two draws. So may maybe we're not dead. We're going to one here. And I have no way to gain life other than the Luris that's in my graveyard. Oh, uh, oops. I have abilities to post on this guy. Did not realize. Okay. Okay. Okay, we are at virtual one. They had the seal in exile, but they couldn't play it because they needed to pay an upkeep on their Monastery Sixth Spear, dude. Crack 
here. Yeah, that'll do it. This keeps us alive. Let's crack. Unless I'm missing what some of these cards do. I think you were, but that's okay. Pyrite spell bomb. Yeah, the pyrite spell bomb will eventually kill us. So we need to beat the pyrite spell bomb. We're not definitely dead yet. That's bad. Uh, now we're dead. Oh, they didn't kill me. They have a lavender in their graveyard. But I... Okay, whatever. Question is, now do they greedy and sack their land? No, no, no. It's, it's totally fine, dude. There it goes. Okay. Finally took a loss, which is fair. This deck is silliness. Finally, we're going to hit the Astrolabes. We're actually going to chain two Astrolabes into our second Unearth. Um, so we might want more than two Unearths in the sideboard for the matches where we want it, but... I don't know, this, this deck would take more playing to figure that out, I think. More playing than we are likely to do. I don't know if that's true. The ability to get them off their mana really early is, is not the worst thing in the world. Double Flagstones, Ghost Quarter, Soul Tithe against Oboe. We are on the draw. I think this is not good enough. Ghost Quarter could be okay against a Sprawl, but then we're down a land. Yeah, not good enough. Much better. Thank you, deck. Thank you. So what am I shipping here? Snow-covered Plains or Mishra's Bobble? Yeah. No, I mean, yes, but we, we drew a lot of nothing for a long time. Yeah, we're going to get them with the Tithe. We've already done that a couple times. I think I'm shipping the Bobble. The Thraben... Bobble's probably better than Thraben Inspector. So it's going to be weird. But I think... Yeah. Because I want to keep the three lands to make sure I can cast this Pillage. Especially against the Grell deck. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully they don't have uh, Arbor Elf Sprawl. And then they play a three mana spell on two with one mana floating. I ship a land because I'm a greedy. Yeah, I probably should have. Especially with the bobble to redraw. If we hit the land within the first couple turns, I will concede that that was 100% the right choice. And that we should have played um, Mesa on one into um, Thurman Inspector on two. Okay, that's not acceleration though. So that feels okay-ish. Yeah, we hit the land immediately. So definitely, I, I think it was definitely right to ship. That's fine. Up to you. Well, Arbiter might be okay. Literal next card. Isn't it always? Isn't it always? Really? Okay. Well. Pretty good for me. I will take it. Not being able to play Mana Tide on this turn is really crappy. They can just fetch before the Arbiter hits. I think we're just going to pass here and leave the Tithe up. Their three mana plays are pretty scary against our deck. 
to tithe beast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they they have beast revealed, but m like more importantly, we want to tithe like any of their three mana plays. Like Clothus is also insane, so please no. Yeah. Like a lot of their three drops are very difficult to uh, for us to beat once resolved. Um, but we do have soul tithe. Soul tithe is is fine. There it is. Remember that card I was talking about? That'd be really hard to beat. It's a good thing we don't have to beat it. Force spike. Boop. Get out of here, nerd. Nerd god, more like. Okay. Woo. Woo. Ah, I should have fetched there. I didn't want to fetch shock, but I should have fetched. There. Oh, I could just fetch next turn before I play both. All right. I hope you have fetch lands in hand. I hope your whole hand has fetch lands. They look like a Blood Moon deck. You are not wrong. My hand is phenomenal against Blood Moon. This deck is probably fine against Blood Moon. Man, if they don't have the land, shoot. Well, here comes the Beast. We do have outs for Beast in the main deck. Um, the one on Thin Ice is probably the best one, though, unfortunately. Okay, well. They didn't attack with the... Wow, that was more than a little lucky, huh? Uh, I will take it. I'll... I'll you know what? It's fine. Uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and be okay with this. Um, check, please. Getting away with murder, you said? That's... Okay. I can, I can dig it. Sean Shaft. So, Arbiter, Thin Ice, your beast. Oof, Dynamice. Get out of here. I'm sitting you away, friend. Enjoy your trip. Of course, they are almost definitely playing Stomp, so we're going to get a little, little beat up here, potentially. What does that mean? Yeah, that's a good one. You do care about my Arbiter, but why? And for what reason? Well, that's a little unfortunate. So I can crack the earth to get them to sacrifice their human, but I trade a land for that, which is not the best trade. Can just play Arbiter, Luris, and Bobble this turn. They almost definitely have removal for the Luris, but like, I don't know if I can stall that out any longer. Yeah, I'm just supposed to play Crack and Arbiter. What card do we play that wins the game? You know, I need you to stop asking questions like that. You know what the answer is. You know we don't do any of that nonsense here. That, that is, this is not a winning the game channel. But for, for reference, we were 3-0 in this league before we hit burn. And we, we, we crushed ad nauseum. 2-0, complete slaughter. And we played against um, Jund, Death, Shadow, Luris. So, like, we played at least against one good deck. Um, I can't remember what the second deck was. Maybe that was the second deck. Anyway. Oof, that's a good one. Okay, what did you have in hand? Land, land. Woof. Okay. Forest. Okay. So Obosh is coming, you say. Very well. Oh, well, no. Obosh is not coming. 
Uh, yes it is, but still. So, lure us into other Arbiter, I guess. They have one card in hand, so good luck, Godspeed, opponent. Good luck, Godspeed. What do you got? No! Stop tapping, tapping red mana. Oh, okay. Maybe it's okay. Clothis? Kitchen things. That's fine. You beat that, no problem. You're just opening yourself up to this strip mine, buddy. Open yourself up to that strip mine. Really? Okay. So, bobble bobble. Start drawing two per cards per turn. Yeah. They can't have a removal spell that costs zero. So, just blow up their stacking grounds. Cool. Well. Um, I don't have, again, I don't have a lot of instants in this deck, but let's just crack off these two bobbles. Windswept Heat. Perfect! I love your top deck. Bobble baby, bobble baby, 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 bobble baby. Baby bobble bop, baby bobble bop. You can lick it, dip it, and shake it, and lick it again. Do you guys have baby bottle pops in the States? I assume you did. Oh! Oh. Oh, that's... Oh. Oh, that's a large lass. Okay. I would like to draw one of my Soul Guide Lanterns, please. Soul Guide Lantern off the top. Well, double crack the earth, I guess we'll have to do. I guess it'll have to do. So... Seal of Fire, Bobble. We did when I was young. I don't know about now. Well, neither do I. I have no idea if they still exist in Canada. Um, so I do want to draw more cards. What's their next draw? Glory Banger. That's fine. They can't cast that. Uh, with cloth at stake. Cloth is, they can. Um, Seal of Fire, the Pyromancer. So I can't actually get them to sack anything relevant here. Back with T. Nice. Excellent. Uh, I need them to sack a land. Uh, I think I have to sack a planes. Goodness gracious, this is going to be rough. They sack the heat. Damn it. Yep, yep, should have seen that coming. All right. Might be in trouble on this one if they're smart. Maybe they'll just like clutch exile something that isn't a land just to, to donk me. I hope so. I hope so. But we shall see. If they are smart enough to exile a land and add red, then we are probably dead. Yeah, okay. 
As soon as I see the red go in their pool, we're toast here. Yeah. Okay. Nice top deck. They just got there on the play. Now we are never going to be able to recover from that. Yep. Okay. Okay. Forge tenders are good. What? And then I s crack is still probably fine. Seal of fire is probably fine. Soul guide lantern less than great. Um, soul tide is still probably okay. Pillage and boom bust are probably fine. The raven inspector probably less good. Or mana tithe. Let's just do a scientician split. I feel like I want internet explosives. Let's get the unearth and then maybe take out the inspectors. Let's try it like that. Yeah, none, none of our cards win the game, dude. It's Leon and Arbiter and Luris beat down once you've locked out everything else that they've done. But like. And it's been amazingly successful so far. I'm actually really surprised by how well this is done. It is complete and utter nonsense, and uh, it has been a blast. And a minimum, it's been really quick. Okie dokie. Let's have a Kraken opening hand here. Let's do it. We're playing with house money already. We don't need any more wins, but I want them. Oh, I want them. Ah, oh, that's a rough one, huh? Yeah, I can't keep that one against Obosh. This is better. Not great, but better. Turn one astrolabe into turn two boom. Yeah, because we could draw flagstones. We're just gonna bottom one of these air mesas. It's the soul tithe. The soul mass transit system. What kind of tea? Some kind of herbal concoction with herbs? Oh, that's the good stuff. The mint one. Ooh, mint. Mintastic. Oh, poor opponent. You are about to get hammered. Okay, uh, I can play the Ghost Quarter here so I take less damage. Shaka laka laka. 
<laughs> the one that tastes like mint ice cream, but is tea. What if you put cream in it? Does it taste like mint ice cream cream? Mm, mint ice cream cream. Okay, we're hoping that their next play is um, is just land. Because they played the sprawl on one, so they probably don't have a creature. Don't temp me. Oh, I'm a temp you. I'm a temp you so hard that you're going to be doing typing. I'm a temp you so hard you may, you may be a secretary. Flagstones off the top literally doesn't get better. Mm, mm, shame. Shame. That's exactly the spot we're in right now. We are definitely just shame. Just about to put my opponent in the ground. Oh, just, just terrific. What is this? Bolt me? Sure. So weird situation um i'm gonna crack the earth here and sacrifice my forge tender instead of my astrolabe or no wait just crack the uh, flagstones because we drew that and then get yeah and just get a um uh we can just get the did I have a reason that I wanted to? Oh, I wanted the Astrolabe in my graveyard to draw a card with it. That's fine. And then I wouldn't have a snow land if I did that. So, but none of that, none of that works the way I want it to. So let's just get a snow cover planes and hope we, we get there all right. I would have yelled at you if you sacked anything but the flagstones. The the Astrolabe's fine, in theory. Because that's a two for one as well. Well, strip mine was a good draw, I think. How do we feel about drawing strip mine? I think it's pretty good. All right, Larynx Punch worthy. Am I completely insane? They have to GQ yourself against no mana. Uh, yeah, I understand. That, that's the reason why I was like, uh, I was trying to figure out the line. Um, can we play Thalia in this deck? Is that possible? It must be, right? Guardian of Throbin. Like, I know we've got a bunch of non-creature spells, but, like, there must be a way, right? Easily? Okay. I, th I think it's the same idea as playing Arbiter and Fetchlands and Arbiter and um, Stoneforge Mystic. Like, people do it all the time. Do you have the deck list? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, is it not the deck? Oh, no, it's not. Yeah, 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 I do. Um, it's, it's already uploaded. I just, it just, uh, it just didn't, um, it didn't take when I favorited it. Opponent is not pleased with my stratagem. I think they may have conceded. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Okie dokie. Correctly assessed the sideboarding. I've boarded in Suppression Field zero times, so I, I don't think it's very good here. I For some reason, I missed the, uh, the, the sideboard on Thin Ice here. I think there's supposed to be another Soul Tithe in the main instead of the one on Thin Ice, but uh, they've both been pretty good. Let's cut a Pillage on the draw. Of dynamite. Uh, 
the exclamation point deck should be fixed. Uh, fixed. Yeah, Lurus Ice Nine. There it is. <laughs> what a miserable play. I mean, at least it was fast, right? I mean, that wasn't any longer than uh, any game against um, Ad Nauseum, right? Like. Like, you're playing Burn against Ad, Ad Nauseam in game one, right? Like, there's no... You, you can't race them. Uh, we won game two there, so we are one and one. I did have my previous opponent ask me if I was playing Smokestack and if Smokestack was legal. I'm not, it's not. Cutting all the non lands and replacing them with Lightning Bolt, Rift Bolt. <laughs> oh, and also some lands. Uh, there definitely should be a Godless Shrine in here, that's for damn sure. Can I keep this hand? We'll see how many times they mulligan. I really doubt it. This has like half of a bunch of our combos. I'm open to reworking the mana base. Oh, you're funny. Can I keep this? I really want to keep this. We cast everything in the deck. And we have mana tithe to keep us going. Sand has nothing to do but die to permanence. Our deck has nothing to do but die. Fine. Damn London Mulligan. Ah, uh, that's better. We really need to draw red. That's so good if we draw a red or a um, astrolabe. All right, let's 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 go see how, how the math looks for that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 12. No, not good enough. All right, going to five. All right, best hand. So tithe, pillage. Okay. Uh, probably keep the tithe over the crack of the earth, huh? Yeah. All right. Well, sometimes you mull and you die. Well, it's going to be good if we can draw. It's going to be good if we can draw a red source. Don't play a one mana spell. Don't play anything. That works too. I don't need you to play stuff. I ain't need that. Play stuff on three. Three is great. So I just wanted to have it up because, you know, the one life point is going to matter, but there, there it's like some kind of world in which they play tap land one drop and then we want to counter it because we want to stop them from getting anything on board. Okay. Uh, ooh. All right. No, I can't let that resolve. Because the, the problem the problem isn't the colors or anything like that. It's the fact that the flagstones isn't flagstones. Well. Am I letting this resolve? I might be. Because if I draw another land, I can play boom and then have mana tie that. 
doesn't really affect my game plan at all. At least not anytime soon. I guess it shuts off ghost quarters, but I don't really... Alright, whatever. Get out of here. Get out. Well, that's awkward. I think I'm just passing. Uh, they're choosing which horrifying three drop to annihilate me with very well. Okay. Okay. Cage. Okay, I think I think we're just screwed here no matter what, but okay, fine. Ah boy. I mean, sure. All right, opponent, make your choice. If they had land in their hand, then they also get to play their next three drop. Because they can eat their wooded foothills with Clothis and get mana. Okay. So they're probably not playing anything particularly relevant this turn. Which is neat. Bolt. Me? Uh, sure. Boy, I wish I could play that. Okay, here's my Arbiter. I guess this means if they keep clothing, they won't be able to, uh, or if they keep paying for the clothes, they won't be able to pay for the next fetch land anytime soon. Got him. We killed the unkillable permanent. Now they're gonna go land Glory Banger and eat us. But but we killed the unkillable permanent. It was literally indestructible, folks. Literally indestructible. It couldn't be destructed. Sprawl, sure. I would like to draw a red. Even better than that would be Astrolabe into red. 
but I'll take. Oh, that's fine. I mean, it's scary, but it's fine. It's not going to kill me that quickly. Oh, sick. Land. Okay, that'll work. Play, shock, uh, boom bust, boom, that one, that one. There's an arbiter in play. Uh, I still think I need to do it. I don't really want to go down another land. Yeah, the call shots were hot, except this isn't actually all that good. So if I play the boom boss there on three mana still. Crack here. So am I playing anything this turn? I don't think that I am. Which is really awkward. You play the crack the earth, take the, up the guy who called a bad shot. Yeah, I mean, that's me. Do, can I go down a land here? I don't think so. I think I should just crack the earth, sack the lab. Yeah, let's do that. They can attack, a, sack the sprawl. They can't sack the human and still attack with love struck beast. So sprawl should be their sacrifice here, which is, I'll take it. Then all we need is to top deck another land, and we're in good shape. Forge Tender can... Oh, I can chump block with the Arbiter this turn, and that might get me in a spot that I'll be happier with. Yeah. Yeah, we might have to do that. One of the awkward things that happens with this card. Yeah, Astrolabe. Sack the Sprawl. Do it. Take that up with the guy who called the bad shot. Is that me? I think that's me. They sacked the token? All right, so they must have another one drop. That makes sense. Chump with Arbiter, Boom Bust, their Sprawl Land. Let's see where we get from there. Okay. Kind of need to draw my on thin ice. Ah, uh, yeah. So we could play Luris and grab the Astrolabe out. Then next turn, yeah, let's 
It's good, but is it good enough? I think I want to play Boom Bust this turn. Chump Block with the Forge Tender. Then next turn, play Luris. And uh, that's really getting messy. Do, 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 do. Okay. do this. Okay. Yes. So we're going to block with Forge Tender this turn because going to two is bad against the deck. A bunch of burn spells. They swing with everything. I think we we have to still block a Love Struck Beast instead of going to two because it's just too easy for them to have another Bolt or play another Clothis and just punk us out. Okie dokie. Well, that's bad. Not really much worse than it was before, but bad. Pretty bad. Yeah. Okay, so we're still in the same spot. Chimp. Oh no. Oh yeah, the third long struck beast. Ah, really good draw from them. Okay, can't beat that, I don't think. That's like almost close, uh, I guess. No, it's we can't do it, but I tapped my lands wrong, so I can't even play the Astrolabe. All right. So we had a hot 3-2 start, followed by a bit of a crash and burn on the back half of this league. However, some proof of concept and some notes, some things we can learn from. So, uh, what do we say here? Okay, uh, Pillage, Boom Bust, Crack the Earth, Astrolabe. These were all winners, felt like. Soul Tithe was real good in the main deck, so I think we might want... Another Soul Tithe in the main deck will move the Thin Ice to the sideboard. Mana Tithe was fine, but I think three is probably okay. Soul Guide Lantern didn't come up that much, but I think it was probably fine. Thraven Inspector is the, I don't know, most suspect slot. And then we flooded a bunch of times. We also had draws where we couldn't draw enough lands. I think this might be the right number of lands, but I maybe we want to get some sun-baked canyons into this deck it's probably a great idea the sideboard we literally never brought in the suppression fields and i'm not sure where we would some core firewalkers might make the burn matchup really really good forge tender feels like it should have a spot in the main deck maybe it should take these three of inspector spots and then thalia could also be in this main deck somewhere again i'm not really sure maybe instead of the inspectors so not 100% sure where we end up after that. But this definitely feels like it had something going on. Um, as Larynx Punchworthy pro uh, pointed out, it's very light on ways to win. But I don't know if that's that much of a problem with the way that the deck plays out. Maybe we could play Dovin. Dovin Hand of Control? Probably in the sideboard. Thalia also could come out in the sideboard. Anyway, some food for thought, some interesting places we could take this deck. Uh, we are going to switch over to Lutri Scape Shift in a minute. And uh, so that should be a blast and a half. Stick around, anybody watching this. If you're watching this 
You need a way to pressure them when your land E plan works, or they just draw out of it. No, I, I know that, but it's... You, you have to play things that are 2 CMC or less. So I'm just not sure what you're supposed to play. Maybe we could play, um, what's it called? The, the Kithkin Soldier. The Boros card. Um, the hybrid one that grows bigger and bigger. It's like um, Warden of the First Tree. Figure of Destiny. Figure of Destiny. Maybe Figure of Destiny is something we could play in here. Yeah, Figure of Destiny could be could be okay. I I'm not sure because you always have to play it like after your land destruction stuff, and I'm not sure how many you could play. But yeah, that that could be something. I wish there was something I could think of that was like a recursive. Oh, maybe there's some kind of Phoenix that it would be okay. But none of them cost less than three. That's the problem with those. And, like, I can't think of any kind of land that you could play as a win condition. Is Black Vice legal? I know it's not. Black Vice might be good. <laughs> no. Your land destruction is not that effective. Uh, anywho, moving on. Uh, if you're checking this out on YouTube, you can like and subscribe. You can check out my other videos. And have yourself a great evening, and we're moving on to some Lutri Scape shit.